How you doing, Mr. DJ's back, wrapping up Sock Hop Week um, for my 50s YouTube channel. And thanks for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. I uh, want to go back to Billboard's Hot 100 of October 3rd, 1959. Do I have a treat for you? Legendary producer, Chad Atkins of RCA Victor. He's produced a lot of people. I, gosh, just loads of folks, including Elvis, Hank Snow, The Browns. He produced Four Walls and He'll Have to Go by Jim Reeves. Now, here's the thing about Chad Atkins. Along with Owen Bradley, Owen Bradley producing hits by Patsy Cline or working with Patsy Cline, these two guys, they introduced a smoother sound of country. They used more rhythm sections, more strains. Uh, it was called the Nashville Sound. For example, on Four Walls and He'll Have to Go by Jim Reeves, Chad Atkins, he had the Jordan Air sing backup. He also introduced a rhythm section on both of those records. He also produced Oh Lonesome Me, which was a huge, it was a huge country hit, but it was also a huge pop hit, too, crossed over on the pop hits in 1958. 1958 was a prime year for country crossover hits, and so was 1959. But this song by Chad Atkins, this is more of a, that I want to play for you, this is more of an experimental record drums and wah wah guitar sound in there boo boo stick beat Chad Atkins coming in at number 86 got as high as number 49 on the Hot 100 on Billboard's Hot 100 for 8 weeks the legendary Chad Atkins with boo boo stick beat an instrumental